Hello everyone, Delicate here, and welcome back to some more Code Veronica, and last time... Ooh, we are back here at the Antarctic facility, actually, but we are playing as Chris. It's kind of weird that we was here not that long ago, actually. Literally... Mm, three episodes ago, actually, but... The first thing that we need to do while we are in this safe room here, uh, we need to go ahead and use the hellboard on the cabinet with the end and um, ones inside. So we need to place this. Um, Say there is an indent here. Go ahead and use it and place it in this indent here. Go ahead and. Open up the cabinet, and we do get a paperweight. Okay. And also, there is a file in some ink ribbon. It is an Alfred Dallery. January 30th. Uh, there is a seal room in the hallway located inside of the an Arctic facility. I don't know what is hidden there, but I do know how to get in. Uh, I used the three jewels that once was our three family members world as proof of being a little mint and descendant of the Asper family. Uh, the only problem is I do not know how I can gain uh, possession of my father's proof. Uh, January 17th. I finally uh, succeeded in entering that sealed room. I never could have imagined that such an insane secret instance regarding the, the both, the both, uh, both uh, Alexia and myself. I hate my father. That's I want to say that is probably the room that we actually seen Alfred at the end of uh, episode nine. Actually, where Alexia, the real Alexia, woken up. Actually. From her slumber. I'm pretty sure this is the room that we may... Room I think we may need to get to actually. But um, Alfred is talking about here in this diary here. Uh, I hate my father. Uh, that for Alexander. Now it is obvious that we were mainly created and attempted to cover my father's blunder. I can never trust him again. I must regain the glory of the Astral family with my sister. I have nothing to be afraid of as long as Alexia is with me. March 3rd. Alexia carried out the experiment in, on the human body that we've been talking about. Um, our useless father must be happy now since he can finally c contribute to the Asper family. Uh, the only thing we should be careful about is that the butler, Harmon, does not become wise to our activities. April 22nd. The experiment results in failure. Our father was useless after all, even worse. He turned into a dangerous monster that is completely out of control. That was um, Nazfu Tor back in episode 9, actually. That was the boss fight right after the end of episode 9. And pretty much the name title of episode 9, also. Uh, we. Guys, no matter I say throughout episode 9 that it is uh, Alexander. Uh, we tried, we, uh, we tied him down and locked him up in the underground prison cell. No matter he did escape back in episode 9. Um, however, Alexia seems to be close to a situation beyond all my expectations. Uh, she now says that she wishes to conduct the experiment on her own body. On top of that, she feels she must be kept asleep for 15 years. Like a... Literally a... Decade and a half. Actually, a sleep. In order to equivalent to experiment, thanks to the idiot, I cannot see my dear Alexia for as long as 15 years. Alexia is gone to sleep with all of her trust rely upon me. Now I am the only one who can protect Alexia. I'm gonna go ahead and file Alphys's diary. Uh, so there is something else here that is a ink ribbon. 
and go ahead and grab those ink ribbons. And we need to go ahead and put the ink ribbons into the safe room here with this 105 amount of ink ribbons that we actually did manage to get with the cheat that we did use for Claire to be able to beat Not Fu Torn. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know that I am using a guide and also I do have an infinity health cheat so I can be able to push on but we don't have unlimited ammo for Chris. We do with Claire, not Chris. I'm, whenever we do be able to see Claire again, I'm pretty sure it'll probably be really soon. We make sure we can actually reload some of the guns uh, for Chris, actually. Because I feel like whenever we do get to see Claire again, I feel like we're probably going to be moving back and forth like we did with uh, Rebecca and Billy back in Wizarding with Zero, actually. Now that we have grabbed the paper plate, the paper plate, and the ink ribbon, if you want, save your game if you wish, and make sure you grab the fire extension from the item logs. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and grab the fire extension. So it's been a while since we have uh, used this. We are gonna place this grenades rounds in the item box. Look at all of these items. Lord oh, Jesus. Alright. And make sure we find the stairs and head outside and up the stairs and through the double doors. Now, the lighter. I'm gonna go ahead and drink some water here. Make sure you stay hydrated. Um, actually, I guess whenever Steve and. I was wondering what. Chris was looking at. I want to say whenever Quill and Steve actually froze up the place from using the drill vehicle, probably kill those mobs for like for good, for good. Alright, so they're telling me to go through the door near the ladder, so it's gonna be this double doors here. And on, head to Chris's lab and keep going until you find the vowel handle. The spiders underneath that ice. I just noticed that. Hello, zombie. Oh, there's two zombies here. Oh, get up, me zombie. So don't sell me there. And don't open that corner. This is where we actually cutted the um, little metal piece at the bottom of the bow handle. Back in episode 9. Let's go. We are out of sucking cells. Alright, Zami, you need to get the fuck off of me, bud. Yeah, because there's that color where you actually had to cut a um, obstacle. A octagon out of the bow handle actually. Let's go ahead and grab these ink ribbons. While we are here, we can go ahead and grab that aluminum case. I don't think we Chris can pickpocket. Also there's something else. So there's more sucking cells. Nice. There's only like a that's only like a load left. Alright. Let me see if Chris can be able to lockpick. I think we best to... Not really combine it, we best to check it. It's secure by it's simple lock. You can't open this because you don't have a lockpick. Okay, Chris can't uh, lockpick, but Clell can. So it looks like we may need to put the aluminum... crate. Into the... We must go this way where we actually pick up the bow. We, no matter we did manage to pick that aluminum crate a little bit too soon because they did tell me to go to the opposite door and go to something to grab the aluminum case and the cells and back to the safe room. Okay, while well, we are in here... So pretty much they tell me that we need to make our way back to where we actually managed to get the bow handle. Do the next door and take and dodge the zombies. Uh, 
Um, find the valve handle through the next. I'm keep going until you find the valve handle. There are some helium tanks here. Oh, it's like, yeah. So we need to go ahead and take this. Yeah, that's the bow handle. Now with that, we actually got the bow handle. So pretty much we just need to make our way back to the safe room. So we can be able to um, free up some space. Hello. Oh, well, I think we need to get out of get out of here because the ice is breaking. No, they, they just zombies breaking through the ice. All right, zombies, you guys get off me. I do have seven rounds of cells that I may need to use. What the fuck is that? What is on my back? Whatever it is, get off. Alright, whatever it is, we could stumped on it. Alright, there goes all of the zombies. Now, let's make our way all the way back to the safe room. If you need to, so you can be able to have some space opened. So pretty much we do need to make our way all the way back to the... Yeah, because I want to put the aluminum case in the item box and also the... The ink ribbon. So we can add some space open up because we probably need some space. Hmm. Well, we are here. Yeah, Claire and Steve did some serious damage. Yeah, big change difference, actually. Alright, while well, we're back here, let's go ahead and place the ink ribbon here and place the aluminum case. We won't be able to open that until we get back to with uh, Claire, actually. Alright, now we're back here. We actually have uh, opened up some space. Now head to the other side of the walkway and hope. And hop down and cross the ice. Once through there, you will get spotted. Watch out for hunters to come and come up running. Okay, so pretty much tell them us to head to the other side of the walkway. Yeah, they're just the summit's just gonna fall. Are they shooting pillar sights at me? I'm actually really, really curious. I think that was the... Yeah, that was the last... Suck and so I had. I'm good. Oof. I really wanted... They really wanted you to... Grab me, bud. Alright, there goes that zombie. Now my heat just grab my foot. Come stomp that... Zombie's head. Get off of me, bud. Alright, there we go. It's tightly sealed. Alright. Well, it looks like we can't really go that way. Um. So, pretty much, they just telling me to head to the other side of the walkway, hop down and cross the ice. Once uh, you through, you get spotted for hunters. So, we can't go that way to the control room, so we... So I guess the only way we need to go is... This way? The, here's the thing. Now they're saying that um, you need to go back to the other walkway. Like, here's the thing. It's like, there's like so many damn walkways on this ch in this game ch guide that you need to be more, um, be more descriptive what type of 
walkway you're talking about. Um, actually, it could be talking about the pathway that takes you to the secret, to the secret, um, passage that is this way. I'm not 100% sure that it is because this is where we actually got the, um, key from. We actually seen Nasruto back in episode 9. That order did probably tell me that we need to head back to the room where we actually pick up the vow. I'm going to say. I'm not 100% sure. A few is actually talking about that room, that little room area that we actually connected to the room where you actually pick up the aluminum case and the room where you actually pick up. I want to see here. I want to say I ha this has to be a yep. Drop down to the ice. Um, you will get spotted. There is a control room here. Talk about there is a large man whose hands are tied. That is. My food that is making nice food tour actually. But why he's he's supposed to be back at the um helipad, why he's healed though. Interesting. You didn't tell me that we need to go up through this way, um, guide. Um, hop them onto the guys a good. And once you through, you will get spotted. Watch out for the summies. Head through the double door. I would say this door, I guess. Hope it's this door. We just came from this direction. Are you serious? Double door. Door that. Door that. So I guess this door, I guess, it doesn't really, it's not really being really descriptive. There's the control panel for the crane, the operate, to operate the crane, you need the crane key. Like I said, dozens of dozens of times throughout this. I want to say this has to be He's here. This door here. It's not really a double door, but. All right, load content. I guess I had to use these some sing guns. No man, I didn't want to, but I guess I have to. Let's go fast. Can't believe he's already here though. Alright, so they telling me to Alright, so pretty much they get a hundred one. Head through the double door, you can go straight. Okay, this is like the only double doors they was talking about. I go straight and we head with the blue orb on the letter control panel. Okay. There's a lift here. Oh, the blue button. Ah, uh, I'm gonna sweat it. There's a lot of blood. Alright, so they telling me to go straight and hit the blue button on their little control panel and wait What's your need? Now right, let's go ahead and push the sweat button And go up to I right, go we need to go up to this and go ahead and we fill the Fowler instead, sir You use the 
extremist. All right. Now that we have um, refilled the file extension, now you need to go down the left nut by. So it's telling me to use the uh, here. Look, get chat. It, there's two lifts. There's a lift here and there's a lift literally light here. What lift are you talking? Tell me. Actually, I want to say it's probably this one. Um, yeah, um, head down the lift nearby and put out the fire and find the magnum. Well, this one's taking me up, so this is not the right one. It's about here. I feel like we may need to be back here later, but I'm not going to hit that yet. So I say, I guess it's this one here. We heading down 100% on this one. Alright, this one they're telling me to go ahead and put out the fire. Alright. And there will be a magnum. Alright, we got, we got a magnum. A really high caliber weapon. This is the weapons room. I remember now. Okay, why don't we actually grab the map room? Don't use it. Save it for the end. Okay, so pretty much this is save it till the end of the game, pretty much. Um, Keep going until you find the zombie on the floor and then... Yeah, I forgot about that detonator though. Okay. Uh, use the ladder on the detonator. Just do it right next to some missiles. Uh, luckily that is not a big explosive because if it was more of a big explosive, it could have been bad, Chris. Right, let's go ahead and combine some handgun ammo. Damn it. Damn, it was already equipped. Go ahead and open this. We got some handgun ammo. There's three boxes of handgun ammo here. I'm going, we're going to pick up every single bit of it because it definitely will be really helpful, actually. Um, there will be three boxes of ammo and now head out of this room and go up. Um, go up to the left. Alright, now we need to go up the left that we did came from Why right when we actually we came from um, Filling up the foul extender, sir um, Now head out of this room go up the left and out go down the rest of the corridor uh, there should be another spotter. A uh, spotter or the camera bite. Be careful and we're going carefully go up the elevator and wide it. Okay. Like I said, this guy is not really being really descriptive. And there's that other spotter. Luckily that we actually made it through the elevator before that spotter did activate itself actually. Alright, we're gonna be winding up this elevator here or down, maybe up. Should I don't even know. And now we need to head across the door and enter the door next to your safe. Oh great, there's another poison hunter here. How are you not dead? Now you're dead. Can't believe it. It's my freaking single number for that. Ooh. The hell are we? There is no time for that. Um, I'm. 
I'm, I need to equip it because it's stuck a shit in here. I believe this is the mansion that what Alfred was talking about. Okay. Now that we have um, why the elevator, head across to the other door and enter the room next to you. That is a safe room. Okay. That is good to know. This is not a safe room, but there is zombies here. There are two of them. Three of them. Four of them. Oh boy. Get off me, but I kind of wish I have sucking cells, to be honest. Go ahead and get these zombies out of here. Alright. There's a orb here. That is a blue orb. Where's this high bonus door go to? <laughs> uh, there are two boxes of ammo here on this desk. I think this is the room that we will be. I think that we need to be. There's a blue orb here. Okay. So, um, they seem to go across to make it to a safe room, but I want to say I believe the safe room is actually around that corner where the zombies came from. Because we need to find an item box and find a machine. No. You find the machine nearby and use the vial handle. I think this is the, um, that room that we was just currently at is where we s we definitely need to be that. But I didn't realize there was three more zombies around this corner here. Alright, just grab me. There's some herbs literally right underneath me. I have no ammo. Actually, the only ammo I got is Glocks or handgun ammo. Handgun ammo only does so much amount of damage. Are you dead, dead? I'm pretty sure you're dead, dead. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and pick up these orbs. No matter, I don't have any space, but I'm gonna use them. It's locked. It should open by power bill to be support. Okay. I want to say that this is the room that we need to currently need to be at. Actually, find an I find the item box and find the machine. Oh, this is a safe room. I didn't realize it is a safe room. Okay, okay, okay. Um, this is where we need to be. Um, I just overlooked it. Actually, I'm gonna play these blue orbs here. So pretty much we need the pepperweight in the uh, vowel. We're gonna go ahead and pick up these ink ribbons. Gonna go ahead and save it while we're here. I overlooked at it. That was my fault. Let's go ahead and store the store those. All right, all right. And now we need to use the vowel. I'm gonna say we need to place the vowel here. We need the. Uh, um, I think we are supposed to put the. I think I best to put the. It is electrical um connecting device. You can switch to the apply of the. Um, here's the thing. I think I bust to, um... I think I bust to place the paperweight there. I'm not 100% sure. Um... Now go... Now go flip the power switch on. Uh, there is a switchboard of this floor. Let's go ahead and pull the lever. Alright, the power's on. Alright, I for a second I actually thought I must have put the paperweight there. It's pretty kind of weird, but... 
I guess we got the power one now. Back on in the, the in RJ facility, actually. We are going to combine those two orbs. No, I, I got to cheat, so I'm just going to place them in the... Item box here. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and grab the orbs and the ammo that is on the desk and also the ink ribbon and also some cells and put away the vow. Make sure you have- okay, so we can go ahead- oh, some cells here? Alright. Oh, it's like that. I see them. They're telling me to go ahead and place the vowel away. And put away the vowel. God, I got so much shit in there. Holy shit. Alright. Make sure we keep the pepper weight on us. We're going to combine these socken cells into the socken and clip the socken. And make sure you have the paperweight and exit through the door and propel for your for a zombie fast. Uh, there will be at least six zombies in the hallway no matter we already dealt with them. Um, but we just need to make our way there. Alright, so they're telling me um, grab the blue orbs and move on, kill the other zombies and grab the next orbs and head through the door once inside, grab the ammo on the cab cabinet and also there will be a statue here and you can push the statue on the on the crack um Why do this looks like the room back in the first Resident Evil game? Okay, so now we are in here. Head through the door and grab the ammo on the cabinet. You can also push the statue on the quack if you want. Um, it will give you a map. So pretty much they're telling me we can move the statue to the crack area. Or uh towel of the floor here. Well they did say that dimension is best to have a have us be ha like the same aesthetic for I'm actually if I'm actually using the word aesthetic, it's cracked. Uh, well, I'm, I'm, I don't think I really need the map actually because I have a guide. Alright. Uh, push the statue on the crag if you want, but if it's the only, it's only a map. Um, go inside the next hallway and there will be get a statue of a tiger. Hatchman suits! I just got the crap out of me. Oh, yes. Okay. This is actually the same exact tiger. It looks like the same exact tiger that we actually had to do the puzzle with the gems back in the first game. Alright, let's take the jewels. Uh, do we need to take both of them? Uh, grab the blue gem of the tiger on the to get the stock and replace the blue gem and get the red gem and get some magnum ammo. Okay, so we're just gonna take so we're gonna go ahead and take both. It seems to work by electrical power. I was go ahead and grab this. It is a socket. The statue it's a statue of a tiger. A Jewel is missing. Let's go ahead and place the jewel back. And go ahead and take the red jewel. I, mean, I didn't really have to uh, move around like that. Let's go ahead and take this red jewel. We're going to get some magnum ammo. That's definitely going to be helpful for Alexia. For the final boss here. Alright. Go ahead and place that jewel back. I 
Okay. Now that we actually got the mango, we turn to the safe room and put away some items, the socket and the mango wounds mainly. What do this door leads to? Oh, it's a sanitation room that probably leads to a lab. It's an elevator. Probably to a lab. I have a feeling of it. That is a lot of bees, and I am not going that direction. Not yet, I would say. So pretty much we just didn't make our way back to the safe room then. Pretty much. It's the statue of Edson. So pretty much we just had to make our way back to the... Kills with those double doors leads to, but I'm not gonna risk it. So pretty much they just want to make a return to the safe room and pull away the socket in the magnum rounds. That's pretty much what they are telling me to do, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Not so get some life if you go on head through the door on the opposite of the tiger statue. Okay, so I did need to go into that room, but I am gonna go ahead and uh, place these magum bullets in here. And also the socket. And we do need to go, so pretty much they are telling me to head through the door on the opposite side of the uh, tiger, taggy, uh, tiger, tiger statue. I can't even talk right now, holy shit. I was going to this similar room from the tribal mansion. It looks like the same exact room from the tribal mansion actually. Right, literally. This door here. Okay, so we need to go do this door here. Uh, walk to it and grab the wing object at your feet and go down Chris left and grab a green orb on the way in. Take out the summies in here and get a orb now this small lamp. It's a hive. Or maybe a tentacle. It's a hive. Alright, we got the wing object. It is actually the same wings back from the Sybil Dragonfly. Actually, back in the Afro Residence. Are you telling me to go do this door here? No matter, I can just squish. This orbs in both ways. <laughs> Lord Jesus, uh, go down, go down the crystal lab and grab that green orb. And on the way, take out the zombies in here. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this orb and go ahead and pick up that other orb. Don't know if I'm supposed to go through the single door or do the double door. I didn't combine the old. I'm, I'm, I'm fine, but I'm gonna go ahead and use it. There were some words written in blood here on that on that double door side. Um, let's go do this single door here. I don't know what th they do say. Go down, uh, Christmas love. Okay. Um, there will be two zombies here, yeah, next to the lamp. Okay, so we at a we at the right direction where we need to be at. But who is a file research report on Queen Ant? Oh boy. Um, after discovering the remains of an ancient virus within the genes of a Queen Ant, I have been concerning on the research of ants. 
The ecosystem at the end seems truly ideal to me. Uh, there is one queen and is set in here. Okay, so it's an end here. It's so pretty much it's a hive. Uh, pretty much. Um, and it's a hive for the ends, pretty much. It's a pretty much an end here. And here's a hive. The, uh, and the soldier and walkers ends are the sort of uh, the queen slaves. We already know how ends works. Uh, they indicate to the lives to the queen. They go get food and they bring it back to the queen. How that works. Uh, the death of the queen ant maids, the doom of the entire ant here. Um, however, the soldiers and walker ant can be easily displaced. Yeah, so pretty much for the people that doesn't know that soldier ants are usually the ones that protect this. Pretends to end here from other insects or us. Uh, the most, most of the, all the ants will bite to try to uh, keep away us from destroying the home but that's mostly the mostly the soldier ants or usually the ones that used to go and kill whatever ants that invades our homes that's for the people that doesn't mostly for the kids that doesn't know that. um an easy replace that's longer that the cream and is alive this is exactly the same um relationship between myself and the other and England's masses I have succeeded and creating an ideal virus and implanted the queen and genes into the mother virus that's been so found. I use an otherwise useless father as a test subject. However, I was suspected that the virus caused a rapid change of his cells, triggering the um, complete destruction of his brain cells and body fluids. Furthermore, I especially type of a poison gas was generated inside of his body. I think they talk about um Nasfuel Tor or um the way how they created Nasfuel Tor or the monster that Alexander turned into. Actually. Uh the blue orbs no effect against. Because of this, I create an antidote in the case of emergency and stored it inside of the weapon chemical warehouse on the second uh, basement floor two. I had decided to name this virus the unimaginable potential of the T Veronica virus. When I find out how I can unite the power of this wonderful virus, my great research will finally be completed. Alexia Alpha. Green Ant Report. Okay. There are some green orbs here. We can go ahead and pick all oh, the blue orbs. My bad, my bad. Uh, the, I actually thought there was. There is a green orb and a blue orb. Let's go ahead and combine those two together. Okay. Um. While we are in this room, walk to it and grab the ring object on the floor. Yeah, we already done that. There will be two zombies next to a small lamp. Then, um, then crack into another room and take down the zombies here. Uh, equip the ladder to explore. Okay. So there are going to be some white when we turn around this corner here. No matter there's a zombie on the floor there, I need to be really, really careful about. Yeah, he's he's getting up. Hey, zombie, come and need me. No matter. You're not really going to do a whole lot of damage because I got on. If we need the amount of health anyway. That other zombie is clawing. Ah, right, he's dead. Alright, it's telling me to go ahead and equip the lighter here and go ahead and explore here. I'm gonna say I bet that's the ant, the queen ant. There's some hand bullets here. Hanging bullets. Alright. Uh, grab the box of ammo and exit and head to the other side. And take the green orb and head in. 
I want to say we talk about um, head to the other side of that big room. We actually picked up the um, wing object and I'm going to say that's where we need to make our way to now. I'm just going to do the double doors. Got the box of ammo. We already done that. And now let's head to the other side and take the green orb on your way. And head inside. Go through the small flight upstairs and go to the white. Well, here's the thing. Uh, here's the file clipboard. Here is a virus research report. Work continues on the T. Veronica virus, which I accepted for the Queen Ant. The more research I conduct on it, the more I am impressed by how much potential it, it has. I have finally implanted the virus into my own body and discovered how they unite its power. Uh, I will avoid making the mistake that I made on my father. I was past the, activi the activities of the virus at a ultra low temperature so that my cells will change slowly. My calculations indicates that it will take 15 years before my body will gain immunity. Makes sense why C one of the um, Alexia slate for like a decade and a half of years, so it can her body can be fully immune, become able to cohere with the virus. Until then, I have no choice but to trust my capsule that I will be in to the influence by loyal soldiers and who is my brother. Who for me to attain unlimited power, some risk needs to be taken. When I'm waking, I will be the queen and the, the T. Veronica virus will be unleashed upon the entire world by my children. Every last creature on earth will exist to serve me. At the time, the world will achieve the perfect ecosystem just like a end here, but on a much greater scale. And Alexia asked for it. I'm gonna say, I'm thinking that the reason why um, Rascal is here to try to stop. Alexia. Okay, now that we... So pretty much we just need to... And head to... Okay, uh... Go up to the flight of stairs and head to the wine and look at the paperweight and rotate it clockwise and see connect a correct order and press the button. Um... Clockwise, crown, heart, ace, double A, Alexia Asford. Um, umbrella symbol, biohazard symbol. I want to say we need to place it that says double A, crown. Make sure this is like a puzzle. Heart. Ace of Space. Uh, there is something written on it. As twins, Alexia and I are two sides of the coin. It decides to carve art under the name of Alexia. Heart, Ace, AA, Crown. Uh, there is a button with a design. I'm just go ahead and push the button. Okay, uh, which button do I need to push? Uh, we need to go ahead and push Alexia Ashwood button. Crown, Heart, 
Ace of Spades. Okay. It appears I should put something in here. Uh, it's probably the... Once you got it, put the white paper inside the door and Alpha will... Ooh, okay. Yeah, we'll go ahead and place the weight here. We definitely do know that Alpha is dead. Now that we have put the paperweight in the machine, uh, Alpha will fall from the tube and take the wing and examine it. Alright, so we go ahead and take Alpha's wing and we need to examine it. Check. Okay. You got the Alpha Gem. Okay, it appears that your potential can be removed. Let's go ahead and remove the gem. The mental potential has been removed in your uh, team, the Alpha Jewel. Okay. Um, now we need to head back to the safe room. Make sure you grab the sock gun. Alright, so we need to make our way back to the safe room, uh, pretty much. No, we already have the sock gun equipped, but here's the thing, I have no ammo for it, but I'm not too, 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 too worried about that, but let's go ahead and make our way to the safe room anyway. Now we got the Alpha Jewel. I want to say I'm pretty sure we need one more Jewel. I want to say that we probably will. Maybe. Before we can be able to enter that mansion. If you guys remembered that little weird mansion entrance. Yeah, so pretty much whenever you do get to the safe room, make sure you have to you have your sock gun. Let me go ahead and grab this orb here. And just make our way back to the safe room here. And also I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. So pretty much like the main thing that we actually learned from this episode was how the T Veronica virus was creative. Um, I am going to go ahead and place the herbs here. God, I got so much herbs, like, Lord Jesus. No matter, pretty much like the main thing they tell me to go ahead and grab is a sock in the mall. I already had it equipped. Alright, I am going to go ahead and save it here. And also, I am going to go ahead and end this episode fully here. So anyway guys, hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you guys are liking the series so far, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also ding on the bell. I think we're going to be going into the Alexia and the Alfred's main residence or the main house or mansion, I would say. In the next episode. So anyway guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys are linking the series so far. Make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Also ding on the bell. As we hoping we do get some more sock and sales. Next episode. Peace guys.